But now that we've tried to go inside Hyrule Castle and failed, let's try to go somewhere else. I say we should probably head towards Kakariko Village. We, we really did travel far to get to Hyrule Castle, though. Impa, Impa is like the same distance away, but the opposite direction. But that's probably the best thing for us to do as far as like progress is concerned as well. I don't know if we get any items or unlock anything from Impa. But that's, I, I just want to have Kakariko Village as like one of my, my fast travel points. Oh, who's that? Man, you're hard to keep up with. With one day you're on Twitch, then you're on YouTube streaming, now you're back on Twitch. I mostly stream on Twitch, like 95% of the time. <clears throat> I only stream on YouTube for like very special occasions. Can I swim across this? I feel like I should be able to. Ooh, this water's steaming. Why is that? Come on. I'm not gonna hit the rafts. That sucks. I'm getting swept downstream. The Floret Sandbar. Look, aren't they lovely? I wanted to see how the shrine would look with flowers around it, and it's wonderful. Please feel free to take a closer look. Just don't step on them. The flower maze. You know, this seems like it would be really easy, but it's more difficult than you would think. I've stepped on these flowers way too many times. The path gets skinnier. She did a good job. These are some beautiful flowers. Got some variety. Is that a hearty radish? It's tempting. Very, very temp. Oh. I almost walked through. There's such a small gap right here. Woo! The Gila Rao Shrine. Isn't that the name of Ethan Klein's wife from H3H3? <laughs> drifting. Sometimes I feel like I'm drifting. You guys know what I mean? Cause I agree that flower lady losing her shit because you step on her flowers is hilarious. It's warranted though. Like I'd be pissed too if somebody stepped on my flowers. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting it to go that wild. Like one more. Um, where's the chest at? I feel like there has to be a chest somewhere. Oh, there it is. Too easy. Wait, can I? Oh, almost got it. Dang it. That was a good shot. No, don't climb down. One hundred percent for this playthrough is going to include everything. This is my psycho mode playthrough of the game. I gotta do it once. Just once in my life. And if I record it and stream the whole entire thing, then technically I never have to do it again until the next time I want to. What? Does it only light if it's like lifted up? Come on. Are you kidding me right now? I'm just gonna use my own bomb. I don't need your bombs, I have my own. Okay, let's leave it right here. I don't wanna be on this platform when that explodes. Oh, it also destroyed my platform. I 
these shrines have such good lighting. I feel like I'm in like a studio room or something. Whoa, this guy's holding one of his rings. It's like floating in his hand. How does he do it? Bitch better. This is the Sonic Guru. He has the secret rings. <laughs> oh my Hylia. Look at her butt. Damn! Before I make her mad mad, I'm gonna get this hearty radish. Cause I love how many hearts it refills. That this game has too many jump scares. Alright. Piss off a bitch. No, you must not hurt the flowers. They are screaming out in pain. Damn, she was so disappointed. <laughs> well, that was a fast travel. Thank you. Can I take this boat? I don't have a leaf. And I got rid of my axe. I don't, can I get a leaf? I'm like cutting down a tree, maybe? Nah, guess not. Okay, well, how are we getting off this island? Maybe climb the tree and then parasail off? <laughs> Found another road. Who's that down there? Another traveler. There's a lot of travelers in this overworld. We should probably go to the Sheikah Shrine. That's how we're going to open up the overworld map. We haven't done any of them yet. I can't even tell which region that shrine is for. That's not a shrine, it's the tower. We're on the Aegis Bridge. Very eager for us to be on here. This is a really elevated bridge. Seeing this reminds me, today I watched this video. It was a video talking about the high-speed railway that they're building in California that goes from Los Angeles to San Francisco. And apparently they've, they've been making some pretty good progress on it recently. They've been having to build like so many bridges and infrastructure for the railway to sit. But once that's finished, that'll be great for America. It'll be the first high-speed railway system It'll allow you to travel from Los Angeles to San Francisco in about three and a half hours, which would normally take around six hours to drive. So it's like half the speed. No, it's like twice the speed, not half the speed. And yeah, it'll hopefully set like a good precedent for other American cities to get their railway system as well. I'm pumped for it though. What was the reason for this? To give me a good vantage point, I guess. Well, oh, this this encampment is highly guarded. Should we start with a TNT? That usually works. Gives us a good starting point. Nobody knows where we are. Oh my God, his thing's on fire! Fire. Thank you. Ouch! Do you you freaky? Get out! Get out here! Oh! Blow for a blow. Oh uh, yeah, let's keep on eating food. I'm gonna need to cook here soon. We don't have very much food. Everybody else give up on me? Well, fortunately, I didn't give up on them. Mm-hmm. That's how a bad bitch does it. Crunch. Wait, why did that do, like, no damage? That should have, like, absolutely obliterated him. Really, he's going the rock method. You sure, bro? You sure about that? This boomerang does so much damage. Where did the last one go? I'm kind of afraid. He just like deuced. 
my fancy chests. Whenever the blo blood moon rises and the enemies come back, does it also refill these chests? So if you like came back through, you could get more, more treasure or is it just like, oh what, there's three? That does so much freaking damage. Oh, I was supposed to do the, the torch, wasn't I? These guys are blind. Okay, please tell me I get something for killing all those, right? Right? I'ma hope so. That's a cool shield. <laughs> what if someone shot a fire arrow in here while I was inside? <laughs> Have I talked to Josh recently? Yeah, he was actually at the stream earlier today. I hooked him up with the Breath of the Wild ROM because apparently he's gonna start doing some Breath of the Wild stuff as well. Blood Moons only replace wooden chests. So just the shitty chests, <laughs> pretty much. You'd be more impressed if it, if the high if the the train system was from LA to NYC. Do you know how expensive that would be? I think it is costing like 33 billion just to do the the three hour train ride from LA to San Francisco. From here all the way to the, the East Coast. That probably won't happen for another 30, 40, 50 years at least. Wasn't expecting all these guys up here. Do I even want to fight them? I feel like I don't need to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to... Deuce. I got the high point. I'm going to get straight on this. The Dueling Peaks Tower. I think one of the reasons infrastructure is so expensive here as well is I don't think... I think, first off... I don't think we have enough civil engineers in America. I think we're kind of like short, so we have to outsource a lot of like labor to contractors that cost a lot more than just doing it in-house pretty much. And then also, I think there's like a lot of legal fees because a lot of people sue the state for the railway system and like the inconveniences and stuff that it causes them. And so the country also has to pay like millions of dollars in lawyers and like settlement fees for all the people that sue them in the process of building the railway system. It's a mess that makes the thing cost twice as much as it should. But that's the law system for you. People trying to make money from reading too much into this the small print. All right, we're about to become omniscient. Shiki Tower becoming sprung, 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 sprung. Is that where we teleport to? Give us the magical drip drop. Slate stay drippy, drip drip. Slate stay drippy, drip drip. Slate, I'm a wrist stay drippy. Ice. This one kind of looks like, what's the country right beneath Russia? Like the big country, Kazakhstan? Reminds me of Kazakhstan, or is it Mongolia? No, not the Sheikah sensor. I hate the beeping of the Sheikah sensor, no. I mean, it's helpful, but it's also obnoxious. Now, operational. It does kind of look like Austria, now that I think about it, yeah. I think you're more right. Bloop, bloop, shrine nearby. Bloop, bloop. I think you can turn off the, the sensor if you want to, which I'm going to, because it's annoying. Oh, no, apparently you can't, Never mind. You are forced to hear the beeping. Hello? Anybody home? No one? 
Should I be cooking some stuff? Do I need to? I think we still have enough meat to make it to Kakariko. Flint. Yeah, I'll hold off for now. Let's get to that next shrine. On the map screen? Oh, I can turn it off. Thank God, okay. So I'm pretty sure it's going off because there's shrines on top of this mountain that I can't even reach right now. <laughs> so it's almost like a false alarm. Oh, here it is, Never mind. There was one like tucked inside this river. Okay, let's see if I... Fortunately, it's a skinny river I can easily cross. Trying to cause some trouble, bucko. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm just trying to do stuff to save the world. You guys are making it hard. Oh my gosh. No, not another one. You don't notice anything. No. I'm good. Oh, no way. There's no way I'm climbing that. <laughs> not without jumping. So glowy. It's the Dahi Shrine. Timing is critical. Moist critical. Easy. How do you guys feel about floating platforms in Zelda games? Do they bother you at all? Do you feel like it's a lazy game design tactic to have floating platforms? When you could have more realistic scenarios for your platforms? Oh, great timing. That was impeccable. No! It left without me! I'm gonna have to wait for more floating platforms. Oh no, it put me back where I was. Okay, well let's eat more delicious steak. How do you like your steak cooked, chat? What's your favorite cut of steak? And how do you like it cooked? I like my medium rare. And honestly, I don't know what cut I like the most. Let's go with the, the Wagyu, the Wagyu beef. Wagyu's always really good. I don't think I've ever actually had Wagyu, but I'm gonna assume it's good. <laughs> oh, I did it. Oh no, don't do it again. That was so close. That was so close. Anybody who likes their steak cooked, well done though. Probably needs to get their tongue replaced. If I had to be honest. Can I grab these? Oh, I can magnesis them. You're mine. Can I reach? Oh, I can. Wow. Oh my god! <laughs> Ruffled my feathers up a little bit. Ooh, a, a bandana. I heard bandanas are ba banned in Montana. Because Montana felt threatened. <laughs> by the fabric having a similar name to its state. Too easy. This is another ring magician. This time he's like holding it. He's making it float with his hands. It's his child. 
Filet mignon is really good. I'm a big filet mignon guy. I think it's better without the bacon, though. I don't think it's a requirement that filet mignon is wrapped in bacon, is it? The bacon isn't what makes it a filet mignon, is it? I hope not. It's always juicy, though. Filet mignon, always juicy. You love a filet mignon. <laughs> Ooh, can I catch these fish? I just caught two fish. I'm a true huntsman. Oh my god, he jumped out of the water. Oh no. It's happening, chat. It's happening! No! I'd be lying if I didn't say this scared the bejesus out of me the very first time I played the game. Be on your guard. I had no clue what was happening. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. No, oh, my hard work. Oh, my hard work. It's all, it's all been undone. Return to flesh. This is a disaster. Link, please be careful. Well, that happened. Good thing I didn't start killing these guys and then halfway through fighting, they all just respawn and then do all my progress. Ooh, there's a blue one. I'm gonna see if I can make it land on the blue one. Oh no, I landed on the wrong one. Yes, 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 yes. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. What? He got me in the backhand. That was a bit mooch. Do I want to know how a blood moon did you dirty? Uh, do I ever? This time I'm just gonna shoot with the, with the firepower. I love how they all fall asleep together. That's so cute. Ah, cha cha. Is this just a big ball of iron? Like, what is this? Oh, come on. Come on. I feel like I curb stomped him without even using a curb. <laughs> That's brilliant. If you prepare a meal during a blood moon, it gets special bonus effects. Wait, is that for real? I've never heard of that. That's really cool. How long of a window is that to prepare it? Blood moons only last for like, what, 10 seconds? Or does it technically last all night? We found a boomerang. That's cool. I heard a news story today that apparently they just had the first successful surgery of separating two twins that were joined by the brain at birth. They were able to successfully do it without like very much damage, which is like a medical breakthrough. It's freaking awesome. And they were saying that the way they were able to practice and learn how to do the method that they learned was through practicing in VR. I never really thought about that, but VR really does seem like it'd be a great way to uh, practice a lot of professions really cheaply. Assuming that it's better or easier than like the Surgeon Simulator game. <laughs> that game was a mess, but it's fun. I love Surgeon Simulator. I should play that again. That'd be fun. Practice my medical technique. Don't sweat the technique. Don't sweat the technique. What was the name of the shrine? The Water Guides. Ha Damahar. Good old Cryonis shrine. 
If you're a Cryonis fan, let me know. Who here is a Cryonis fan? You're only a real Cryonis fan if a Cryonis makes you cry on this dick. I might good at those jokes. Is there a chest in this room? I deserve it. Okay, well, let's just do this first. Put that down there. Oh no! My plan was soiled. But don't worry. I'll be oh, come on. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Oh, there's the chest. It's back where I came from. Shooting stars in Breath of the Wild are yellow, the Xenoblade ones are red, and only happen in specific locations given by the quest info. Wow, okay, cool. Good information to know for sure. I will be looking out for my red shooting stars. My red giants. Yo, what's up, Bopachu? How you doing? We love an OG. I still think it's insane how many people still just remember me from that Mario Sunshine race. I gotta do some more, some more groundbreaking stuff apparently, so people can know me for something else. All right, what's the stance? I gotta know the stance. It intrigues me the most. I can't tell what he's doing. I think he's doing this, which is one hand, and the other hand is in his lap. He's trying to trying to hide a, a stiffy that he has. I am not playing master mode. I am not that good of a gamer. I died 15 times trying to get to Hyrule Castle. I would have died 500 if master mode was on. <laughs> Found some wood, another pitchfork. Then do all these stables have goat farms? <gasps> Puppy! <gasps> Borkity Bork? Oh, he wants belly rubs. Oh, why can't I put the dogs? I'm so mad. What does peaked in high school mean? It means you're pretty much, you, you reached your pinnacle of success in high school. That's when you were the most successful. Then everything else is just kind of downhill from there. There's some chillin' sleeping in here. Aw. I've got the scoop on Misko's treasure, and it's great. Listen up, Deck. Prison, hang on. Hey, buddy. What's your problem? You aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? We're treasure hunters on the trail of the latest score. The treasure of the great bandit Misko. It's as good as ours. Uh? Prison, you're gonna give it all away. Uh. Sorry, Dak, I got carried away. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. If you need something, take it up with someone else. Did he just give me the, uh, the hint to a quest? Oh. You again, pay no mind to my little bro's chatter from before. He's got a penchant for running his mouth with crazy talk. Tell me about the treasure. Well, I can't say I didn't try to throw him off. Oh. Hey, why don't we just tell him? Maybe he'll leave us alone if we do. I mean, if we can't figure this riddle out, there's no way someone like him will be able to do it. Oh. Damn, they're dismissing my mental capabilities. Finding it would mean incredible riches. I'm not about to give this information away for free. I'm no fool. Oh. That's the keen sense of the strongest treasure hunter at work. No gold left behind. Not by Dominic. Great, Dak. Oh. It'll be 100 rupees to learn. Wow, is this extortion? No, that's not the definition of extortion. Um, I guess this is just paying for information. It's like... It's like signing up for Skillshare or something. Truth is, it'd be a steal to get this for a thousand rupees. Huh. You know, you got me, you got ah. me. 
the little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above that river's source. Misko hid the location of the treasure in some kind of strange secret code. I heard this from a former dog walker of one of Misko's underlings descendants' neighbors. As solid a lead as any. <laughs> Just knowing someone with good intel like that. Exactly what I'd expect from you, Dak. These guys are just jerking each other off. I'm not gonna wake him up, he's sleeping. Um, oh, she's cute. What's her name? Sagessa? Good morning. Don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through here. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to forget that the world almost ended years ago. But there are still monsters wandering around, and the area near Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. If you're gonna be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. Whoa, ah. a mixologist. You can mix bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Most of them are good for refilling your health, but they have a lot of other unique effects. Some increase speed, some ah. increase temperature. I'm actually increased that you've made it this far without the knowledge. I can't have it on my conscience if something happened to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. Ooh, we can move with such haste. <laughs> Recipe is a high tail lizard and monster parts. So I usually have a stock of tin or so on hand. Not too shabby. Does the game have some sort of like recipe book that you can put together of all the stuff you can make? Or does it expect you to either just remember it or write it down yourself? You need to talk to everybody at least once to get 100%. Is that on the for real? Wait, who is this? This is a new guy. Hmm. Oh, oh sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought there. I'm doing rigorous research day and night to figure out the mystery of the blood moon. Yo, I saw that sheet. Are you just pretending to know what I was talking about? That's fine, so long as you'll listen to me now that I'll tell you about it. For 100 years now, every so often when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that have been previously defeated will come back to life. Whoa. And that's what is known as the Blood Moon. I didn't realize it happened at midnight every night. It's not listed no, but a recipe book would be great for Breath of the Wild too. I agree. Please give us a recipe book. Why do the monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answers to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. Oh. If you learn anything about the Blood Moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. I'll give you all the deeds. Beetle's awake! Come on over! We do meet again. Um, you know, I have a, a nice sapphire that I found. Sells for 260. Probably don't want to sell this. Probably want to keep the fang. That's all the sell for now. What does he sell? More arrows? Of course. I'll always take them all. You know. You already know. That puts us up to 50 arrows. It's like we have a big quiver. Very nice. Thanks, Beetle. You obey. And he's going to give us directions. Hi. Welcome to Dueling Peak Stable. What do you think of this place? Pretty nice, yeah? It might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about 100 years ago. However, thanks to the blessings of the Dueling Peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. Uh, let's get a Kakariko, oh. yeah. The village where the Sheikah clan lives. Mm. It's said that some time ago, they had advanced techniques that were more powerful than anything anyone had seen. But that power puts them at odds with the king at the time, and they were scattered across the land. Anyway, if you leave here and follow the road straight to the north, you'll find a big bridge. Cross that and keep following the path and you'll come to Kakariko Village Gate. Leave it to Rinsa to tell you about the roads leading there. Okay, cool, mm. thank you. Everything looks like it has always has, but the effects of the Great Calamity still linger. Okay, I'm not too worried about the monsters. 
Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? I do not. Ooh. Allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses and you're able to swap horses in and out as you please. Do you know how to catch a horse? Um, I think so. Hey. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. Uh, I'm gonna ah. say bye now. Everyone here is so kind, except for the guys that made me pay for the information. But I'll assume we're gonna get some good treasure from it. So let's let's hope it was good information. Okay, where are we at? Yeah, we want to follow. We're gonna follow this road right here. And it should take us straight to Kakariko. If you have an item, you can look at its recipe, but only while it's in your inventory. Ooh, can I catch a horse? So I guess, I also kind of like in a way how the game expects you to write down the recipes. Kind of makes me want to put together my own, like, recipe book for the game. Like, as I learn stuff, like, put it into, like, a document of some sort. I want to catch a horse, please. I want the speckle butt again. I'm a speckle guy. <laughs> ah, soothe. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, girl. Do we have a suit? Yeah. So let's go ahead and take this one to the... Well, if it has two spurs, would I want one with two spurs? Or should I try to find one that has more? As far as, like, the horse that I keep for a pet. The more solid the color, the more solid the stats. Oh, that's a shame. I like the speckles. Well, that's a cool shield. Curse you, inventory. So once I find Hetsu, the first thing I'm increasing is my shield inventory. You know, I want to I want to collect one speckle horse, so I'm gonna take this one back. I need a horse named Speckle. I'm back so soon? Do I talk to him while I'm on the horse? I don't want to talk to him. I want to talk to the other boyo. Hey. Yes. Let's register this boy. We also get a saddle and bridle. Very worth it, for sure. And it's our, our boyo speckle. First horse in the squad. Oh. Like your personality is better than good stats or a oh. solid color. If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle it and it will come running. But your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away. So do keep that in mind. I'll try not to forget. And we're off. Stunning that foe. Yeah. Running that foe. <laughs> True. Shoot at that foe. Bring him down to the foe. I'ma leave him more dead than a reed dead. Then I'ma run to the town for a new threat. Now I won't take it, girl. I can tell you need more head. Yeah, yeah.